all good morning welcome to the session in this session we will be explaining how to publish cds view as o data service basically cds view can be published as a o data service with one annotation o data published equal to true let us create one cds view and demonstrate to create the cds view right click new other upper repository object i can go to core data services select data definition click on next then give the name of your cds view say i will give saka cds for o data CDS created for O data service. Click on next. And let me be it a local object. You can finish the template of CDS view. You can see. And I'll write the query. I'll change it. Let's see. Okay. CDS. Let's make it SQL and let me fetch data from the table bbak e bbln as the number and eidat eidat here in a i Kept three fields for the CDS view to be displayed. I'm done. Very basic CDS view. And here I have to write an annotation which will make this CDS view published as O data service at the date. You can see automatically system proposes. Save it. Check it, activate. It's being activated. So far, it's inactive. Once it is activated, we'll go to the backend system and maintain the service. Service is activated. Uh, CDS view is activated. I want to see the data. I can see the data. Open with the data preview just to test that CDS view is working fine. Now I'll go to the system backend system. I'll enter the transaction IWFND main service. Maintain service. entering a long D, the transaction code then i'll go to add the service and uh, my service name will be basically the service name will be cds view name underscore cds so it will be easy to find out my cds view name is this one i'll see if any service already available that means when we activated the cds view we're expecting the service to have been created we have to just add register it
Which I'm going to check the alias he four four hundred. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. So the service got created. It took some time. So I'll explain again what I did. I created the CDS view with the annotation O data published equal to true and activated. As soon as I activate it, when I go to backend, I can see my service. Check my service, but I have to register it. I can see the service here. Service here. Get the service, select, and you register this. Register the service. You can select the package as local object. Continue. Metadata loaded successfully. Now, if you see in the service catalog, you can find that CDS view service. Select it, search it for the service name. You can find the service name here. Want to test it? I can test it. Select the service in the gateway client. Hello. Execute. It will give the service metadata. And if you want to get the entity set, it's good. It's too large. So I can give the URI option to select few of the records. I can make it top 10. So this is the URI option. You can see, you can choose to fill, to get only specific set of records. I want top 10 records because the record is too large. It could not get displayed. That's why I'm going to show only top 10. The records came, you can see data is populated and you want to say, uh, get the data for a specific uh, order. So let me say specific order, order one I want to see. See for that specific thing. So what you can understand, as soon as you create the CDS view, the service got created. We have to just register the service to use it. This concludes how to create a CDS view and expose the CDS view to create OData service and register and test how it works. Next session, we'll understand how to create CDS with parameterized and how can we change those parameters from the OData service URL to get the result. CDS with parameters and creating service on top of it. Thank you all.